All right, here we are, guys, setting up for this one. A couple different ways to approach this. I'm going to bring a couple clubs. I'm going to bring Hornet. And I'm going to bring Backbone. Chance for both to come into play. In terms of how I'm going to do the drive, not really sure yet. We're going to have to just play this one by... Uh, what we're given. I would imagine a tailwind scenario here, but not necessarily for sure. Nope. So it's into the wind, which means we are going to need to go extra mile. So I did equip the extra mile. You can see my opponent has a QB. I do like to do QB. I was going to switch it if it was a tailwind. It's very good to get it up into this left-hand side with the curl of a QB. It's much easier to do. Um, if you don't get your alignment right, like my opponent, it looks like probably going to wind up in the rough. So what I'll typically do when we're in situations like this, I might back off this top spin just a bit. I'm thinking somewhere maybe right in here. And... I am going to try to land it over here with some curl. So I'm thinking three-ish rings. What this does is it creates a nice angle. So it's much better to create that angle. So that's why I use the curl here. Because when you use this angle, now if I would have called a perfect ball, that would have been perfect. But you can see with what I'm trying to do, even being in the rough, it's typically okay. You can still go at this with the green from the rough. I'm not sure if I'll do it with the rough. I'll probably size it up for you guys and then maybe pitch it out just so you can see and you don't have a wasted attempt. Because I do want to at least give you the pitch. There's two different ways to play it. I'll play it with one top spin with a long iron or I'll play it at about three and a half top spin with a short iron. So those would be the two different ways that I play this hole. Similarly, I usually use about three top spin on a rough iron as well. So I will set that up for you guys, and I'll probably just pitch it out to the side. And it looks like I can't even set this bump up. But let's just say you didn't put it right where I just did. You know, what I would typically do is just kind of line up my guide I'd put it up here um, because, you know, there's a good chance that you'll be able to, you know, avoid that tree and be able to actually do this bump. And then, you know, maybe about two per ring or so. So like somewhere right up in here. But I'm going to just pitch this out. As I mentioned, I don't want to waste this attempt. And we'll just kind of pitch it right to, you know, kind of where we should have drove it, basically. <clears throat> so with the proper curl, you know, we get it over here. And we'll go for the bump from there. Assuming my opponent made this shot, since I am playing a replay. I would imagine they typically... Uh, Playdemic's not too nice to give you replays that parred, par fours. Not to mention, both players would have had to par, par the par fours. So how many times is that going to happen? It's going to happen very few times. Let's just take a look at this one. You can see we're back here at Indian Club. I'm going to go maybe, since it's just a little bit more of a uh, headwind, maybe about a bar and a half. This is right around 80 accuracy. With 80 accuracy, um, I am towards the min club number. And I'm going to go maybe two per ring, I'm thinking. So just as a little bit of an overplay, maybe just a little bit more than four rings here. That's what I'm going to go. Got my perfect. And you'll see at the very least, you know, we have a very good opportunity at the pitch. It looks like I made it. So if I would have kept my drive in the fairway, 
you know, we would have got ourselves a nice equal there. So that's more or less what I'm going to do um, typically throughout the week. Uh, again, off the tee shot, using that curl is going to create a nice better angle, be able to get it over to the left a little bit easier. So that's one of the things that you'll want to work on. So good luck there, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.